Hello everyone, this is Tim from Cleveland Baseball Fan, and today is game number 74 of the 2007 Cleveland Indians Mostly Advanced Stratomatic Replay. Uh, today the Indians will head to Washington, D.C. to play the Nationals. Uh, Tribe come in with a 32-41 and 41 record, the Nationals have a 34-40 and 40 record. And the reason you're seeing Brandon Watson's card is because Watson has been called up after Brandon Fick has been placed on the bereavement list after the real-life loss of his mother. Uh, this is about the only uncarded uh, game, so if you see Mr. Watson at bat and you see why I have this, then you will know that this is the true standings. All right, and we'll get back to the game here real quick and get started. Okay, and Jake Westbrook has a 3-2 and two record with, a, with 30 innings pitched, 12 earned runs, 10 walks, and 22 strikeouts with a 2.84 ERA. Uh, he... Just got off the disabled list, and Edward Mujica had been, has just been sent down. And, excuse me while I get the outs in frame here. Okay, now that we've got the particulars out of the way, the Nationals actually made some roster moves themselves today. Uh, They acquired uh, Laval Spegner for Jarno McDonald and then sent Spegner to AAA. Uh, and then let's see, Jason Bergman got recalled. And we'll take time out make sure I got everybody that's supposed to be on the roster. So the, they did make a, a roster move. Uh, Jesus Colome has been put on the disabled list, and Chris Schroeder, who was going to be sent down, has been recalled, and I do have him in, so we have everybody that the particulars are out of the way, sorry for the delay, and we'll go ahead and get started. Leading off and playing center field is Grady Sizemore. And a 5-9 against a lefty. Oh, no, that's a fly ball, and it goes off the wall. And in a third with a leadoff triple is Grady Sizemore. Just missed hitting a home run. 1-18 to would have been a homer, and that's a 20. But they'll take the leadoff triple. Sizemore comes in with six home runs and 33 RBIs, and that'll bring up Casey Blake. 10 home runs and 31 RBIs on the season. And a 2-7 against a righty. That's not a 7, so it's not a chance for a double, but it's a fly ball to center field. Going back is Watson. He will make the catch. But scoring from third is Sizemore. And quickly, the Indians are out one to nothing. And here is Victor Martinez. One eleven against the righty. Just missed a home run chance, but a fly ball to left two away. And that'll bring up Travis Hafner getting the start today at first base. And here's a pitch to Hafner. 5-7, that's a 2, and that's over the center fielder's head. And into second with a 2-out double is Hafner. And here is Johnny Peralta, the shortstop. Trying to get another run home here in the top half of the first. 5-10, and against the righty, that's a ground ball to short. And there is Christian Guzman, and he will... Put it away, or he throw first for the out, and that will retire the side. But the Indians quickly get out to a one nothing lead. And coming up for the Nationals is uh, Christian Guzman, Brandon Watson, and Ryan Zimmerman. Now, uh, Watson had a 43 game hitting streak in AAA, but sadly, this would be his last year in the majors. So. All right, and here is Westbrook to face Guzman. 
for four shortstop X, and that's Johnny Peralta, and he will not make a play on an 11. So he is an E21. Yes, and he will need a 7 to 11. And that's a 10, and that's a good play by Peralta. One down. And here is Brandon Watson. Five, four, third base. And that's Casey Blake, and on a 17, he will make that play. Two down. So it's like a nice defensive play by the Indians here in the Top half of the first, two down, nobody on. And he's leading one nothing. And here is Ryan Zimmerman. Six four. And that's a catcher X. Is 14 going to be in range? Yes, it is. We don't care about the pass ball because there's nobody on. And that ball will be caught in fair territory. And that will retire the side. So one, two, three inning for Jake Westbrook. And after one complete, it is the Indians one and the Nationals nothing. And due up for the Indians is Trot Nixon, Franklin Gutierrez, and Josh Barfield, who has done well the last two games I have featured him on this channel. All right, here's the pitch to Nixon. Six ten against the lefty fly ball to center. Racing in is Watson will make the catch one down. And here is Gutierrez. And that's a foul ball. One strike one. Five, seven base hits center field. So they will hold Gutierrez on as Jesus Flores is a zero arm. So he'd be one to ten if he wanted to steal. And let's see, Barfield would be a B hit and run. <sighs> well, with Westbrook pitching, it'd be uh, hitting next. It'd be kind of stupid to hit and run. So let him swing away. Six eleven pitcher X. And because that's not a 1, 2, or 3, or 18, 19, and 20, and if it was, it's probably still be a good play, but since Simon Tachi is an E0, that's an automatic double play. And that will retire the side, so we'll say that's a 1, 6, 3 double play to end the inning. After an inning and a half, it's the Indians 1 and the Nationals nothing. And do up for the Nationals is Dimitri Young, Austin Kearns, and Ronnie Belliard. And here is Dimitri Young, who has many, I believe Dimitri Young was the one that was big into collecting baseball cards before it became popular again. Help me in the comments with that one. Uh, let's see, I guess Young would be hitting lefty, swing and a miss, strike three. So first strikeout for Young. And here's Austin Kearns, ex-Indian, or future Indian at some point. Or maybe an ex-Indian. Uh, three seven against the righty fly ball to center. Oops, one down and now two down. And here is Belliard, the ex Indian. He was 2004 and 2005. Two five, and that's the first base runner for the Nationals as Belliard reaches on a two out walk. And they will not hold him on. Here's Ryan Lang Langerhans. Getting, getting a start today. 1-4, swing and a miss, strike three, and that will retire the side. I didn't even have a chance to put the... there. And that'll retire the side. So two of the books here at RFK. I believe that's right, that we're still using an 07. The Indians won and the Nationals nothing. And do up for the tribe, Jake Westbrook. 
And back to the top of the order, Grady Sizemore and Casey Blake. And using pitcher hitting card number one is Westbrook. He is a weak right-handed hitter. And a 110 swing and a miss, strike three. So that is strikeout number one for Simon Tachi. And back to the top of the order, here's Grady Sizemore. Tripled and scored his first time up. Three, six, and that's an eight. And Grady has hit over the right fielder's head and into second with a double. One to 12 is a double, and that's an eight. And so here's Casey Blake with a chance to drive home. One out here in the top of the third. One 11 against the righty ground ball back to the mound. He looks size more back and retires Blake. Two down. By the way, the RBI for Blake is his 32nd on the year in the first inning. And here's Victor Martinez, runner on second. Like to get that runner in. Ooh, and that's a foul ball. Pulled foul. One, eight. Base hit center field into score from second is Sizemore. And the Indians take a 2 nothing lead. That is Martinez's 45th RBI that leads the team. And here's Travis Hafner. Four, six against the lefty. Ground ball to second. Easy play for Belliard. Throws the first, and that will retire the side. But the Indians do get one on the two-out hit by Victor Martinez. And we go to the bottom of the third. Two-nothing Indians. And due up for the Nationals is Jesus Flores, Jason Simon-Tachi, and back to the top of the order, Christian Guzman. And... Here we go with Flores. Two ten, and against the righty, back right back to the mound, and Westbrook will take care of that. And one down, and here is Simon Tachi using pitcher rating card number one, a also weak right-handed hitter. To nine. Oh, ground ball to first, and Hafner will take it to the base himself. Two down. 210 is the only way to get on base on the generic hitter card, pitcher hitting card. I'll bring up Christian Guzman. Uh, Guzman grounded out the shortest first time up. Four, six, and against all oh, either side, that's a two out walk. Second walk for Westbrook. And they will not hold Guzman on. And here's Brandon Watson. And to get his card up. Okay, and here's Watson. Two down runner on first. Nationals trailing 2 nothing. And a 4-7. That's a 1-10 to single chance. That's a 4. And that'll sneak through for a base hit. Going to second is... Guzman, and first and second with two outs, and here's Ryan Zimmerman. Three, eight, and that's a 12, and that's off the wall. In to score from second is Guzman. Rounding second, heading third, uh, heading the third is Watson not being held on. Makes him a 15, 14 or 15 with two outs, makes him a 17. And uh, no change for the arm for Sizemore. They're going to send him home. Here's the throw, 1 to 17. He is safe. And that's a 20. He's out. So we'll say that's. Eight 
Let's see. Yeah, we'll play eight to four to two. And that will retire the side. Wow. So the, the Nash, oops. The Nationals do get a run back, but could have been a lot more. But after three complete, it is the Indians two and the Nationals one. <sighs> okay, and leading and do up for the Indians here in the fourth is Peralta, Nixon, and Gutierrez. Here for Simon Tachi. And here's the pitch to Peralta. 6-6 six, six, draws a walk. So leadoff walk and Peralta will not be held on. And here's Trot Nixon. One six base hit the left field. Uh, not being held on. Makes him a 12. And but Langer Hans is a minus two, so they will go station to station baseball here. And two on, nobody out. And that'll bring up Franklin Gutierrez, who now has three homers and eight RBIs on the season. And here's the pitch to Gutierrez. One, six, and not good enough this time. Swing and a miss, strike three. And here is... Josh Barfield, and he'd love to get move at least move the runners over. Three seven, base hit center field. Scoring from second is Peralta. Going to third is Nixon. And once again, the Josh Barfield magic continues. As the Indians get the run back and now lead three to one, first and third, with one out. Whew. Let's see here. Can we pull a safety squeeze in? No, you cannot pull a safety squeeze in uh, advanced. You can do it in super advanced, but you cannot. If you can do it in advanced, let me know. But I will say that you cannot do a safety squeeze in advanced. So they will let Westbrook hit and just maybe he gets a hold of one. Maybe he only strikes out. But um, especially with the slow runner on first with, uh, well, Barfield's not a slow runner. Hmm. Well, you're holding him on. I'm making him a 10. Nah, I don't try to run ourselves out of an inning. Here's the pitch to Westbrook. And 2-5, and that's okay. Swing and a miss, strike three. That's two down, and that'll bring up Grady Sizemore. Sizemore, a triple and double in two appearances. Two, nine. And unfortunately, there are two outs, so that's a fly ball to right in. Making the play is Austin Kearns, and that will retire the side. Now the Indians do get that run back and go back to a two-run lead at three to one. And do up for the Nationals, Young Kearns and Belliard. And here's the pitch to Dimitri Young. 5-5, five, five, and against the lefty fly ball to left. And there is Gutierrez to make the play. One down. And here is Austin Kearns. 6-9. And that's trouble. That'll get... 
past Sizemore and roll around. And into third with a one-out triple is Austin Kearns. And Kearns did have one triple on the air, so doubtful this was it, but hey. All right, um, one out runner on third. We'll just play back and get out. You know, not scared about the run being up two again. Here's Westbrook to Belliard. 6-10. And fly ball to center. And Sizemore's a one and a 19. This might keep the run from scoring. And it does. Racing in is Sizemore makes the catch and Kearns goes back to third. That's a fly ball C. Let's see if I can get this on. Yep. Uh, column one, 19 is a C. So two down. That's a big out. Now they'll play, they really play normal now. And here's Ryan Langerhans trying to get a two out run here. Four, nine, and base hits center field and scoring from third is Kearns. So Nationals playing anything you can do, I can do better. Here, two down runner on first and here's Jesus Flores. Six, seven, second base X and Barfield at a three. And a 14 will make the play, and that will retire the side. Nationals score again, and back to a run, one run de a lead for the Indians. They lead three to two after four. And do up for the Indians is Blake Martinez and Hafner, the heart of the order. And this is a point of weakness inning for Simon Tachi. So we'll keep an eye on how this goes. Two, eight, and found the field goal in the two column. Between a double and a single, ground ball to short, and making the play is Guzman, one down. And here is Victor Martinez. Six eleven. Either side's a pitcher X. That's a ten. So because it's out of range and he's an E zero, that's a ground ball back to the mound. And making the play is Simon Tachi two down, and that'll bring up Travis Hafner. Uh, Hafner on the day is one for two with a double and one eight base hit the left field. So two out single for the Indians. And we have two players halfway to a cycle. I doubt they'll get there. And here is Johnny Peralta. Peralta 0 for 1 with a walk. And that's a 1-8. And that's his field goal roll. Ground ball to short. And making the play is Guzman. And that will retire the side. And the game remains 3-2, going to the bottom of the fifth, and the Nationals have a decision to make as Simon Tachi is due up first. And he's almost gone three times to the order, so I think they will pull him for a pinch hitter. And Chris Schroeder is loosening in the pen. And they will get... Hmm... Oh, here, uh, Nook Logan will pinch hit for uh, Simon Tachi as uh, Schroeder will be coming into the game to pitch. Okay, so here's Westbrook. So here's Logan. Let me get him in the book.
Okay, and here is Logan to face Westbrook here in the bottom of the fifth. And a 2-2, and that's a walk. And Logan is an ace stealer. Uh, starts at a 15, would be a 13. Maybe with one out, we'll do it. Because here's Guzman. He's a decent little hitter. That 1-5 result against the righties. Automatic triple. All right, here's the pitch to Guzman. And a 3-3 three, three ground ball to first. Uh, Hafner will get it. His only play is the throw to Westbrook covering. One down. That'll move Simon. Uh, sorry, that'll move... Logan to second. One down, and here is Brandon Watson. And they will not have Logan try to steal third. Five, five. And this is actually a hurts a left-handed hitter. A fly ball to right, you have the chance to go to third, but a fly ball to left, you cannot. And that's two down, and that'll bring up Brian Zimmerman. Uh, doubled his last time up, but scored a run, but Watson was thrown out at home, which is the reason why the Indians are still winning. Four, eight, and against the righty ground ball to short, and Peralta will throw to first and retire the side. The Nationals strand one, and after five complete, it is the Indians three, the Nationals two. And here comes Schroeder to come into the game, not knowing if he'll play any Bach or other things for you Peanuts fans. And do it for the Indians is Nixon, Gutierrez, and Barfield. And they would definitely let Westbrook pitch the sixth. All right. And is Peralta. No, no, no. no not Peralta. Sorry. N Nixon. Gutierrez and Barfield, yes, and we'll put. All right, and here's Nixon to face. He single his last time up. And a 4-7 against the lefty is a walk. Oh, boy. I didn't even put uh, Schroeder in the scorecard here. That's probably why he won't. Yeah, leadoff walk, and it puts Gutierrez to the plate. Uh, they will be expecting a bunt, but they will not be bunting here. Two, four, and not even a good sacrifice, but oops. This is a ground ball to second, but the only play is the first, and that'll move. Second, one out. Here's Barfield, and they may think about getting a pinch hitter here for Westbrook to blow the game open. They might not. Hoping Barfield can contribute here. To six. No, he can't. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two down, and with two down, they'll let the pitcher hit. Here's Westbrook. Maybe catch that six five. Nope, two six swing and a miss, strike three, and that will retire the side. So that'll retire the side here in the top of the sixth, and Westbrook will face Young Kearns and Belliard here in the sixth inning, and this is his point of weakness. Uh, they will have. Rafael Perez and Fernando Cabrera loosening in the pen. Uh, the 
the Nationals will get a Saul Rivera and John Rauch loosening in the pen. And so I almost was placed on the DL, so I have to put him back. Time out here for just a second. Ayala may not be available today due to pitching the last two games, so here's Westbrook. Try to get through the sixth here. And here is Dimitri Young, switch hitting first baseman. And a 1-6 base hit center field. First hit of the game for Young. I will not hold him on. That's one point against his point of weakness. And here's Austin Kearns. Two, five. And that's a fly ball to right. One down. And here's Ronnie Belliard. Five, eleven against the righty. Fly ball to center. And moving under it is Grady Sizemore, two down. And here's Langerhans. Two, nine, swing and a miss, strike three. And that Langerhans is down on strikes for the second time, and that is only the third strikeout of the day for Westbrook, but it gets him through the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh. And I think they'll go to Rivera and only let uh, Schroeder pitch the one inning. Westbrook will definitely be coming out, should be definitely coming out for the seventh. Okay, timeout while I put Rivera in the scorecard. All right, and here is Grady Sizemore. He'll step in against the Rady Rivera. 5-11 against the lefty. That's a base hit. And they will be expecting a bunt from Blake, and he will definitely be bunting here. So that will make him a C bunter. You just have to roll 2d6s in advance. Super advanced as well. All right, here's the pitch from Rivera. Blake squares around. Oh, boy. C and a nine. This isn't going to be good. Batter is safe. Lead runner is thrown out by the catcher, so they couldn't get the runner to second. So we'll say that's two to six. And call that a fielder's choice. And there's one down. And here is Victor Martinez. For four to center field. That is Watson, and that's not going to be good. Four and a five for a center fielder. Oh, he keeps it in front of him, though. And holds Martinez to a single. That'll put runners on first and third with one out. That brings up the dangerous Travis Hafner. And John Rauch is loosening in the pen. And here's Hafner. Infield will be playing in as the Nationals want to protect a one-run lead. And here's the pitch to Hafner. 2-6. Ground ball back to the mound. This would have been a double play if it was normal. But... Let's see, ground ball A is the runner out at home. No, runner on third holds. Moving to second is Martinez. And that's, a, we'll call that the one to three. Yeah. Had to come off the bound, kept the runner at third, but... Second and third, two down, and infield playing normal, and here's Peralta. Uh, grounded out the short twice and locked. Five, 
pin and he walks Peralta to load the bases. You know, he's a two, so he's okay. And they may be calling back Trot Nixon. Uh, no, I think they'll, they'll leave him in. Uh, all right, Nixon, two out. Bases loaded against Rivera. Four eleven against the lefty ground ball. The first and take it to the bag himself is Young, and that will retire the side. Uh, they leave the Indians leave them loaded. Stretch time here in D.C. Singer, take me out to the ball games at the old ball game. And try to get a little bit further out. All right, and Westbrook will come out for the seventh. He faces Flores and a pinch hitter. And the pinch hitter will be Fol uh, will be Felipe Lopez. So uh, Lopez will be on deck. Here's Westbrook. He has one against his point of weakness, so he can still play with three for if need be. All right, here's the pitch to Flora. Oops, get the. One, eight. And that's a ground ball to short. Peralta up with it. One down, and here is Felipe Lopez. And John Rauch will be coming out for the uh, eighth inning. Actually, Ray King will probably be coming out for the eighth inning. All right, I get Lopez in the book. And here's the pitch to Lopez. And a 1-6, swing and a miss, strike three. Found the hole in the... And this might be Westbrook's last batter. He is due up third in the inning. And this is his 28th batter. Here's Guzman. 1-8, base hit the left field. And let's see who they have up. They have the lefty Watson. And I think they're go ahead, gonna go ahead and do a double switch here. Because they want Perez to get out the lefty Watson. So timeout while I do a double switch. Alright, so the changes have been made. Franklin Gutierrez has moved from left field to right field. And Jason Michaels has now come into the game to play left field. And Rafael Perez has now come in to pitch. And he will try to get the lefty uh, Watson out. And the, the runner on first. And two down. And here's the pitch to Watson. One, three. I think this may be okay enough for to get Watson. Yes! Ground ball to first. Nice play by Hafner. And that will retire the side. A one, four would have been a double and sc may have scored Guzman. But instead, that'll get him out of the inning. And going to the top of the eighth, the Indians lead three to two, and uh, Ray King will be coming in to pitch the eighth inning, and then they'll probably try to get Rauch in for the ninth if needed. So King will face Gutierrez, Barfield, and Michaels here in the, the eighth, and we'll go ahead and get. I'm picking in the scorebook here.
and you would like to stay out of the sixth column if you're Ray King. And three nine, and against a lefty swing and a miss, strike three. And here is Josh Barfield, and Perez is likely going to stay on and pitch the eighth inning as well. Five nine. Against a righty, that's ball four. And, excuse me while I it's a little crawly. And here's Jason Michaels. First step at, and runner on first. Two five, swing a minute. Nope. One to four single chance, but that's a seven. That's a line drive caught by the third baseman Zimmerman. And now two down. Here's Grady Sizemore. He is a home run shy of the cycle. And boy, they would like to get one here. Nope, not gonna happen. Five, 10, that's to the shortstop. Nine is not in range. No, it is not. Guzman is an E31. Yep, 510 lefty. That's to the shortstop. E31 will need a 8 to 10 to get out of the inning. And that's a six, and Guzman boots it in. Sizemore reaches on the air. First and second, two down. Now I'll bring up Casey Blake. And let's see, that's not counting against King's point of weakness, but three, nine, and against the lefty swing and a miss, strike three, and that will retire the side, so. King gets out of a jam there in the eighth, and looks like they'll have John Rauch loosening in the pen for the ninth. And here comes Rafael Perez for the Indians to pitch the eighth. He will face Zimmerman, Young, and Kearns. Okay, and... All right, here's the pitch from Zimmerman to Perez. Four, six, swing and a miss, strike three. As Rauch continues to loosen in the pen. Six, seven, that's an, uh, yeah, lefty facing a righty. So 11 is quote unquote too high. He lines it right to Barfield. Two down, and here's Austin Kearns. One, seven, that's a four, and that's ripped into the gap, and in a second with a two-out double is Kearns. I'll bring up Ronnie Belliard. And here's the pitch to Belliard. Two, four. And against the lefty, gets it to sky it to right field. There is Gutierrez makes the play. And that will retire the side. We go to the ninth. Joe Borowski is getting loosened in the pen. And here comes John Rauch, and he will face... Martinez, Hafner, and Peralta. And John Rauch, who is six foot nine, I believe. One of the taller pitchers in Major League Baseball history. Okay, so here is Rauch. Not Ray King. All right. I'm just going to get the zero in for the Nationals here. All 
right, and here is Victor Martinez, the lead off the top of the ninth. 2-11 against the righty. Ground ball back to the mound. Rouch is there. One down. Here's Travis Hafner. Two for four with a single and a double. Five, seven against the lefty. Fly ball to left. Coming in is Langerhans. Two down. And here is Johnny Peralta. And a 6-7 against the righty. Ground ball to second. And Belliard is not a one. That's a base hit. So two out single for Peralta. And we will get a pinch hitter for uh, uh, Perez. And Ryan Garko will be pinch hitting for... Runner on first. All right, and here's Rouch facing Garko. Three, eight, swing and a miss, strike three, and that will retire the side. So we go to the bottom of the ninth. Here comes Borowski. And he will face, oh, do we want a pinch hitter? We may have a pinch hitter for uh, Langerhans. see here. I have to use all the pinch hitters. And maybe not. All right, so it'll be Langerhans, Flores, and then a pinch hitter for the pitcher. It'll probably be Ryan Church or Tony Batista. Maybe Church. All right, here's Langerhans. Let me get Borowski into the game, into the, the scorebook. And Browski is the second reliever tonight. And a 1-6 against a righty swing and a miss strike three. And that is out number one. Here is Flores. And uh, Ryan Church has grabbed a bat. He will come out and pinch hit. 1-4, ground ball to short. Peralta there, two down. And here is Ryan Church, the last hope for the Nationals. All right, and here's the pitch to Church. And that's a foul ball. Strike one. Six, six against Lefty. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And a one, two, three inning for Borowski. And that's your ball game. Final score from RFK Stadium. It is the Indians three and the Nationals two. And we'll take this quick timeout and I'll tally up the final line score here in just a second. All right, final line score here for the Indians. Uh, Indians, they get the win to move to 33 and 41 in the season. Uh, three runs, 11 hits, no errors for the Indians. Uh, two hit, two runs, seven hits, and one error for the Nationals. Uh, Westbrook goes six and two thirds to get the win. And Joe Borowski picks up a save. And I will let you know in just a second who the next matchup is for the Indians and what game I will be playing. The next series is a four-game series at home against the Oakland A's. I will be playing game two, which is uh, Dan Heron against Cliff Lee. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have not already done so for subscribing, and if you uh, click the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, you'll be notified of any new videos. And whatever games you are playing, please enjoy them to your fullest. Have a good night, everybody.